Hey drummers, today we're going to look at the double paradiddle groove and the paradiddle diddle groove and combine them together in the same exercise. Whew, glad I only have to say that once. Okay, so there are individual videos on both of these grooves on my channel. Have a look at the link in the description below. So I'm going to be playing right hand lead again today. Double paradiddle, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Paradiddle diddle, right, left, right, right, left, left. So the notation today is semi quaver triplets or 16th note triplets as they're otherwise known as. And we're going to be playing in groups of sixes. Each of the rudiments will be in groups of sixes. So first of all, I'm just going to give you a refresher of each of the grooves. First of all, the double paradiddle groove. And now the paradiddle diddle groove. The transition between two patterns can be the hardest part. So plenty of time just focusing on going between the double paradiddle and the paradiddle diddle. Here's an example. Again, with both of these grooves, try and get the ghost notes super quiet and bring the back beat out. So you want to do a tap stroke for the ghost notes and a nice whip stroke for the back beat. The back beat is played by the left hand when we're doing the double paradiddle and the right hand when we're playing the paradiddle diddle. Instead of one bar of each of the grooves, I'm now going to do two beats of each of the grooves. So it'll be one double paradiddle, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. And then two of the paradiddle diddles, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. So now I'm going to open my hands up and play some other voices. My right hand on the ride cymbal, my left hand on the hi-hat. So the only bit that's going to be on the snare drum is the back beat, beats two and four. Remember in the double paradiddle that will be the left hand, in the paradiddle diddle it will be the right hand. And now just two beats of each of the grooves. So a really good way to reinvigorate your practice is to take two ideas that you already know and fuse them together to create something new, like we've done in this exercise here. So be creative with the bass drums, move them around the bar, Take that slowly though to put those bass drums in different parts because it can be tricky. Try and have lots of patience, which is easier said than done. You can do this, keep on practicing. Make sure you have lots of fun, most importantly of all. And it's great to see you again, drummers. Keep on drumming.